Switzerland as a country is quite popular, not only on my channel, but all around YouTube. So it seems like there is a certain interest in this little European country. Therefore, I would like to use the time we have to show you what autumn is like here in Zurich, the largest city in Switzerland in terms of inhabitants. I'll also talk about what you can do here at this time of year and what the climate is like. I'm writing this script in November 2020 and even though it is getting colder and colder, there still are many sunny days. As you probably know, autumn lasts from beginning of September till end of November. The average monthly temperature is at 14.2 degrees Celsius or 57.5 degrees Fahrenheit in September, 9.8 degrees Celsius or about 50 degrees Fahrenheit in October and 4.3 degrees Celsius or about 40 degrees Fahrenheit in November. The climate in Zurich isn't much different than in other European cities. So in terms of climate, you can expect autumns in Zurich to be similar to autumns in other Swiss, German or Austrian cities. Nevertheless, this time of year is a great time to either stroll around the city or take a walk in the forests that are situated in the outskirts of Zurich. Would you agree that these golden brown forests just look fantastic? Unfortunately, despite the colder temperatures, people still feel the need to do some sport outside. As recommended by the Zurich Tourist Association, September is the perfect month for hikes and walks, for instance to the nearby Oertliberg, October for cultural activities such as museums or the Zurich Film Festival, as well as for some mushroom picking, and November to spend time in the shops of the world-famous Bahnhofstrasse that can be translated into the train station's street. Additionally, it is recommended to visit local shops in Zurich's Old Town District or in the Zurich West District. So you can see that life in Zurich is very relaxed in autumns. The climate isn't too bad, people seem to enjoy being outside. And here are a few interesting facts about Zurich. With Zurich's main train station, which is the largest train station in Switzerland, and the airport, Zurich is Switzerland's most important transportation hub. Thanks to huge banks and insurance companies that are headquartered here, Zurich is an international financial center and the largest financial center in Switzerland, followed by Geneva and Lugano. The Zurich Stock Exchange is one of the four most important ones worldwide, after New York, London and Tokyo. Securities with a value of over 4.6 billion Swiss francs are traded here every single day. The city is also home to the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, also known as ETH and the University of Zurich, the two largest universities in Switzerland. Even Albert Einstein fell in love with Switzerland. He studied at the ETH Zurich, where he was even working as a professor. By the way, no other city has as many Nobel Prize winners as Zurich. This clearly shows that education, research and innovation are of great importance not only in Zurich, but also in all of Switzerland. In the long term, this contributes to the prosperity of all citizens. Also worth mentioning is the city's public transport system. Well over a million passengers and more than 200,000 tons of goods are transported daily in more than 10,000 trains on the Swiss Federal Railways network. This makes the Swiss rail network one of the busiest networks in the world. Furthermore, it is one of the most punctual transport networks worldwide. I'm writing this script on the 28th of November 2020 and yesterday, November 27th, the SBB punctuality was at 96.2% across the whole country. In the east region of Switzerland, in which Zurich is located at, it was at an eye-popping 98.4%. Despite the comparatively small number of inhabitants, Zurich is considered to be a world city, thanks to the high degree of globalization. Zurich is the most important center of the Swiss media and creative industry. With its location on the Lake Zurich, its well-preserved medieval old town district and a diverse range of cultural activities and nightlife, it is also a center of tourism. For years, Zurich has been listed as one of the cities with the highest quality of life in the world, alongside with Basel and Geneva, and alongside Geneva with the highest cost of living worldwide. After Monaco and Geneva, Zurich is the city with the third highest density of millionaires in the world. Maybe we can take this opportunity to take a look at the cost of living here. If you live of $2,000 a month in Miami, Florida, you'll almost need $3,000 in Zurich for the same lifestyle. Yes, that's right. 
Life in Zurich is about 50% more expensive than living in Miami. It even is more expensive than living in New York City, but just a tiny little bit. With that in mind, there are not many other cities that have a higher cost of living. Fortunately, wages are also significantly higher and taxes significantly lower than in many other countries. The median wage in Switzerland is at almost 6,540 francs or at 7,230 US dollars per month. This means that when you go for a walk in Switzerland, Half of the people you meet earn more than that and the other half less. In Zurich, this value is not at 6,540 francs, but at a whopping 7,820 francs or $8,644. There are over 1,200 public fountains in Zurich that offer drinking water. Moreover, Zurich is the city that has the largest number of public fountains in the world. And the last fact that may not be too important to know is the following. The Hiltel restaurant opened in Zurich in 1898, making it the first vegetarian restaurant in the world, according to the Guinness World Records. The first vegetarian butcher shop in Switzerland was also opened here in 2013. But let's go back to autumn. In addition to the activities already mentioned, namely hiking, mushroom picking, eating out and engaging in cultural activities, building campfires is also recommended. All around Zurich there are many great barbecue areas that you can use for free. This is a great opportunity to make yourself comfortable with your family and loved ones. Buying chestnuts is also very popular. They are sold at small stalls around the town and have proven to be tasty quick snacks. So you can see that there is more than enough to do in Zurich at this beautiful time of the year. If you got hungry while watching this video, then it is advisable to prepare a fondue to enjoy with your friends. This is a cheese mixture refined with spices which is kept in circulation with bite-sized pieces of bread so that no crust forms at the bottom of the so-called gaclon. Initially, this term comes from the French language, just like many other terms in Swiss German. And if you even ate a fondue and you are asking yourself what you should do now, then you can find out the 14 greatest upsides of moving to Switzerland or learn more about the process of moving to Switzerland by clicking on the link in the video description and the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for free for interesting and informative videos from all around the globe. Thanks for watching.